high. So this year I have seen many horror movies. Some movies I liked very much, like the new Hellraiser movie, X. And some movies were not so good. I was sick a couple weeks ago. And before going to sleep, I decided to watch some horror movie. And on Disney Plus, I stumbled on this movie called Barbarian. I had no idea about the movie and I was surprised. The movie starts great. You instantly feel the tension. The girl arrives at some location. Yeah. I immediately thought that he was the bad guy. And I started wondering, what's with this kid guy? Who is he? What is he doing here? Something's not right. Kid is a bad guy, right? And it was really scary, the part where she finds the basement and she goes down. I was secretly screaming in my mind, don't go in the basement, don't go in the basement. I was kind of like stressed about the lead character. The scene where she finds the room with the video camera was so creepy. I, once again, I was shouting in my mind, go back, go back, this place is bad. And when the kid comes back and goes to the basement, I was convinced that this was some sick ploy to get her enslaved or something. <laughs> when the kid was calling on the floor, and still at that time I was thinking that this was some sick game that he was playing. Then when you see the woman bashing his head against the wall, I was so surprised because all this time I thought that Kit was the bad guy. Then the movie continues with different story with Justin. And I love the part where Justin's character arrives at the house and he discovers that somebody has been living there. It's so funny, he's pissed off about it and he's so confused. Whose stuff is this? Who has been living in his house? And then he goes to the basement and discovers the secret room. That was so exciting. Wonder, where is Tess? What happened to her? Is she still alive or not? The movie just got better and better. I was so excited to know what's, who's the woman like, whose house is this? Like, what's really happening here? Well, the film, like I said, had great tension. It was literally a very stressful movie to watch. It was, it was always keeping me on my toes, and I was very into the movie. I was always guessing what's going to happen next. Like, like, what's the whole deal about this house? In the movie where AJ finds the room with uh, Frank, he sees the videotape. To me, that was the creepiest stuff I had seen in a while. It was really creepy. I wish more horror movies were like this. Ex exciting, you never know what's gonna happen. I wish there was a more story about this woman and Frank. And the ending was awesome. AJ getting killed, then you have the Be My Baby song playing at the end credits and the Georgina Spell walks home. Pretty awesome way to end the movie. Many people complain about the plot holes. How could they live 40 years in a house, in somebody else's house, and this all was happening. But it's a movie, guys. It's a movie. It doesn't have to always make sense. So, I personally love the movie. For me, it was the best horror movie of this year. I loved it. I even showed it to my dad. He also was really creeped out. So let me know your opinion. What is the best horror movie of 2022? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Take care and bye.